Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to do a video showing you guys this Robocop bus that I resin printed. Um, as you've seen probably in many of my videos, this resin printer has been sitting behind me and I've hardly used it. I've been so focused on my Robocop suit and some other projects with FDM printing that I really have not focused or even given resin printing a chance. So I got this uh, resin bust model from Darth Assen way back when and I always wanted to print it and I just really didn't want to do anything full scale at the moment. It's something as big as Robocop so I thought just doing a small little bust would be fun and show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to pull this thing off the bed and let's see how it came out. So there it is on the bed. We got to pull this thing out and we got to kind of drench it with a little bit of alcohol to get some of that um, loose resin off of it and get it dry. Looks pretty good. I hope, I hope it comes out as detailed as I want it to be. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to pull this Robocop model off the printer. Drip it as much as I can. Doesn't look like a whole lot's coming off of it. All right, so this is 91% isopropyl alcohol. We're just going to kind of give him a squirt. All right, so we're going to try to get him off the bed. These can be really, really hard to get off. There we go. We broke him free. Now we got to start working these supports off, which I'll do, and then I'll get back to you, and we'll start kind of rinsing them off a little more, and then we'll see what he looks like. See, in no way do I have a professional resin printing setup. I'm pretty ghetto, if you ask me. But just wanted to show you guys exactly what I do. Once I break all the supports off, you have to be kind of careful when you're removing supports off of uh, small models like this because there's a lot of fine detail in there that you can rip off. And I, I broke some of these, but you want to try not to do that. So just be careful when you're removing some more supports. And uh, use some snips. These come in handy to just kind of break some of them off. I use medium to light supports. In a Chitu box, there is heavy supports. Those are almost impossible to get off, at least for me. So I use medium and small supports for everything. Um, I do a, a nice little alcohol bath with my models. And then I'm going to kind of dry this off a little bit. And I'm going to let it sit in front of this old black light here. Um, it doesn't give off as much UV light as I probably need, but it'll work enough to get this thing somewhat dry. It's really cold here in Texas at the moment, so we just got to use whatever we have. We got to improvise, adapt, and let me show you guys what it looks like when it's dry. So here is the finished product. As you can see, it's absolutely not perfect, but it came out really good, and I'm absolutely amazed on how much detail a resin printer can pick up. And I'm really excited in the future to print more projects on this, but especially to do a full-scale version of this uh, Robocop bust on an FDM printer. Um, very cool. Very happy with it. I hope you guys enjoy.